Forged in Fire is a TV show wherein professional bladesmiths craft their best weapons and try to win the $10,000 grand prize. They will have to make a couple different weapons, all of which will go through multiple tests to see what they're made of. Throughout the show's many seasons, we've seen some insane things happen. Before we begin, remember to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and wait to find out what made it to number one. Number one, Chris and Field Obstacles. This clip was of the final two bladesmiths that were left in the competition. They had both created sabers, and the test isn't of what the weapon would do to the obstacles, but what the obstacles do to the weapon. Chris's weapon was tested first, and Chris commented about how these tests are basically as extreme as they come. One of the judges started by chopping some wooden stakes that were covered in barbed wire. On the second chop, the entirety of the blade fell off. Not only that, but the blade ended up bouncing back and grazing the judge. Luckily, the judge ended up being completely fine, but I can't say the same thing about Chris's weapon. Not only was the fact that the weapon completely broke pretty surprising, but the fact that it rebounded and could have seriously injured the judge was really shocking to watch. Oh! Right here. Number 2. Ron and Ice this clip was during the very first test. This test was where a judge would vigorously cut into a large chunk of ice 10 times with your blade. Ron's blade was up, and at first it was really promising. It had successfully chopped through the ice 9 times, and so there was only one more time to go. However, on the very last blow, Ron's blade ended up splitting. The outer material had sheared from the inner steel, and the knife had suffered too catastrophic of a blow, and Ron was out. Ron, your blade has suffered a catastrophic blade failure in our strength test. Unfortunately, that means that your blade did not make the cut. I have to ask you to please leave the forge. Number 3. Carl versus a door. In this clip, it's down to the final two competitors. Both competitors have made it to the strength test. For this test, both weapons will be repeatedly hit at a door. As the judge is using Carl's weapon to hit the door, he realizes that a piece is about to fall off of the weapon. He asks Carl about the construction of the weapon and confirms that the piece is actually able to be pulled straight out. Since it would be too much of a safety hazard to just put the piece back and continue hitting, Carl ended up losing by default. We've seen pieces of weapons fly off many, many times and even weapons shatter in half. But I I had personally never seen a judge straight up just pull a piece out of the weapon. Carl, unfortunately, your weapon has suffered a catastrophic failure in the middle of our strength test and can no longer be tested safely. And for that reason, I have to ask you to please leave the forge. Number 4. Spiked Mace Kill Test for this round, Sam and Jason, who were the contestants, were instructed to make a spiked mace. Once it got down to the kill test, Sam's weapon ended up doing well and no spikes fell off. However, the handle was a little bit large and the judge pointed out that it could have resulted in harm to the wielder. When Jason's weapon was tested, five whole spikes broke off, but it still ended up going through. When it came down to the strength test, Jason's weapon lost even more spikes, but it was still holding up decently. However, when Sam's weapon was up, the handle was so large that the judges decided it would be too dangerous to even test it, as it could result in breaking someone's wrist. Because of that, Jason won by default and Sam's weapon lost. This was very surprising because in every other way, Sam's weapon seemed to be a lot better. And it seemed like a lot of viewers agreed, as people were publicly outraged that Jason had won, even though many of his spikes had fallen off. The handle's heavier on my head. It's heavy, it's hard to control. Yeah, and especially on this test, it's brutal. It's gonna... Number 5. Levi and a Shield This clip was of the final challenge between Levi and Ashay. Ashay's weapon went first, and it successfully took 9 blows to the shield before splitting. So, in order to win, Levi's weapon just needed to stay intact for more than 9 hits. However, it wasn't even close, as Levi's weapon ended up breaking on the very first hit, making Ashay the winner. It just seemed like the stakes were so high, and there was so much anticipation, and it was crazy how Levi's weapon just completely bit it on the first blow. Family at home is uh, definitely going to be proud of me, and I'm taking home skills and knowledge that I didn't have before I came here, and that's definitely a win for me. Number 6. Liam in Liam's time on the show, a lot ended up happening. He was making the assigned weapon when he coated it in oil, which resulted in his work area actually completely burning down. Not only did it ruin his weapon, but it presumably cost him a lot of money for repairs. Despite this, he still carried on and decided to make a second weapon. Unfortunately, that second weapon wasn't strong enough, and it did break during the kill test. Even though his weapon didn't come out on top, it was still amazing what Liam was able to accomplish. If my work area had burnt down, I would not have had the motivation to be able to make a second weapon. 
Parameters that we set for these weapons are for testing purposes. Because your blade didn't meet the inch and a half parameter with a circular cross section, we cannot fit the shaft of your weapon down the barrel of our testing apparatus here. Number seven, a spear and a wooden wall. This clip was of the final two contestants. They had both made spears which would be put in a cannon and shot into a wood block wall for the strength test. Drew was up first, and his spear had successfully progressed on from this challenge, as his spear didn't suffer any catastrophic damage. However, when it was on to Jason's turn, it was a bit of a different story. The judges had set an inch and a half limit for the perimeter of the weapon. Unfortunately, Jason's weapon went over that limit, meaning his weapon's shaft couldn't fit into the barrel of the cannon. Therefore, Jason lost by default. I can't imagine sinking so much time into something just to not even be able to fully get it tested because it was a little too big. But I guess that's what can happen sometimes when you don't follow the instructions to a T. I'm scared. Number 8. Jody and an Antler this clip was to test three of the competitors' knives. Jody's knife was up, and at first it took a few blows. However, it did eventually break, causing Jody to lose. As Jody was leaving, he talked about how he was just going to keep making that blade over and over again, just to prove to himself that he can. He also talked about how great his competitors were. Overall, I think it was a very interesting part of the show, as a lot of contestants are actually very mature when they lose, and it's really refreshing to see. My last 18 years in the military has taught me anything. It's adapt and overcome. I'm probably gonna make this knife again and again, just so I can prove to myself that I can still do it. Number nine, Bob and the Ramrod. In this clip, a contestant named Bob's weapon was onto the strength test. To really see what the weapon was made of, the weapon was to be chopped into this ramrod ten times. Bob was up first, and he was immediately very nervous, almost as if he somehow knew what was about to happen. Before his weapon was tested, he showed a lot of concern, and he explained that still can be very finicky. He talked about how sometimes it can hold up great, and other times it will just completely snap in your face. On the very first chop, his blade split right in half. Bob was, of course, disappointed, but he explained that he was just proud of himself for even being able to create a knife in such extraneous circumstances, and in only three hours. Even though Bob had a great attitude about it, it was still pretty shocking to see a blade completely fail on the very first hit of the very first part of the very first test. Bob, your blade suffered a critical failure in the very first strike of the very first test. Oops. For that reason, I have to ask you to please leave the forge. Number 10, Ben and a Carcass. In this clip, Ben's weapon was the one being tested. This was during the very first test. The weapon was to go against a very large carcass. Before the test, Ben was very nervous and he talked about how he had never made that style of blade before, and he had never been able to test that type of construction. After a few slices and jabs into the carcass, the entirety of the weapon's blade separated from the rest of the weapon, and ended up getting stuck in the carcass. Like I said before, this was during the very first test that that weapon had been through, and I'm sure it was pretty shocking to Ben as well as everyone there. Blade has suffered a catastrophic failure in our very first test, and therefore you cannot move forward in this competition. What did you think of the list? Which did you think was the craziest? Let us know in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching Film Trip.